Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about my favorite note-taking app, and that's Drafts. And here it is. Drafts is my favorite note-taking app because of the automation that it enables you to have for note-taking. For example, my journaling that I my journaling template, I should say, that I took off of David Sparks and his link will be in the description below, um, was only possible because of David Sparks and drafts. So um, here's what I mean by the template for journaling specifically. I have a bunch of other templates and actions. Um, like this action here allows you to put the time in. This action here allows you to put um, a date in any draft document that you have open. Um, and this one does them combined, both date and time. But let's go back up to um, my journaling journey and how it became a lot more automated with drafts. So here is a template of my journal, a journal entry that I would have. This won't have any content, but it has the bones of a journal entry that I would write. And that part of it is thanks in large part to David Sparks. So the first thing you would do, and I will show you how to set this up. Um, you click the action, and here is what comes up. So this is the title, and all by the way, everything is written in Markdown. So these labels are all in. Um, Markdown. That's why you see the asterisks surrounding the date and time and the hashtags um, that identify the different sections of the date entry, of the journal entry, excuse me. So here you have the title, the date, and I will go over how the date is entered. Um, as well when we go over how to create the journal and um, journal templates and then it has what I'm grateful for gratitude your daily wins um, lessons learned of today and any additional thoughts you may have and of course you put that all in a action in drafts and you create a template for our journal entry so let's take a look at uh, the template of how to create this journal entry in drafts. So I'm going to uh, edit the journal entry action. Well, first I'm going to copy this because it requires that I copy it in order to make creating it easy. So I would copy and then edit just to show you. Okay, here is the um, template. I would simply go here and go all the way to insert text, which is this one. And then I would hit the plus button and I would get a blank space like this. I won't hit it now because I've already uh, sort of created it. This is the code for inserting the date. And then I added the, the time. I said at here is the at and I got this from the get drafts website and uh, learned how 
the coding for inserting the date uh, would be. And then, of course, Markdown requires you put quote uh, asterisks around um, a text if you want to make it bold. And then I put a one hashtag um, to make each item uh, bold and a different size than the title. It went a little bit smaller than the, than the title. That's why, um, although I don't know why my daily priorities have one less hashtag than my gratitude and my daily wins and lessons learned. Huh, that's a little odd to me. So I'm going to add the hashtag. So once that's added, and right here you give it a description, a name, and then um, you give it a label. Um, that's just this label here uh, for, it's the label of the action. Actually, no, it isn't. But, hmm, I wonder, oh, that's up here. I'm not quite sure what this label does because I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. Regardless, and this shows this icon. You can choose the icon by clicking on it and changing the color as well as the uh, shape. But I'm going to leave it be. And then after success, you have a choice of what to happens to the document once the action is run. And uh, then you can assign tags. The tags will um, allow you to pull up any uh, journal entry really quickly. So let's try it. I'm going to copy this journal. Um, tag and I'm going to get out of this um, for created and then once this is created uh, your template is created here and there's lots of different formats for um, templates this is my journal entry um, and I also have a note taking and I have a work task list which was created using Apple Script. That's a little harder to go through and I did not create that personally. So I um, won't be mentioning the one with Apple Script because I didn't personally create it. Anyway, let's get back to the journal tag. So this, every tag, or excuse me, every journal entry will have this tag, journal. And that will appear here because you'll be able to designate a workspace that will only show those journal uh, documents or notes with that tag. So if I go to the journal tag, oh, it, all of a sudden all of them disappear. Uh, but no, um, then I would go to, so let's try journal. There we go. It's because they all appear in the inbox instead of the modify the workspace. So let's try to manage the workspace by going to um, manage workspaces and then going to here. It has it. Hmm. Journal optional query string. Hmm. Not sure why that this is happening, but okay, let's take this out. Maybe because it's a duplicate. All right, 
Now that's okay. Here it is. Now every journal, um, every note or draft that has that this tag will appear in the specific workspace. I think. But let's try to get. This is access notes. Here it is. Yeah. All right. And that, so this is why drafts is my favorite um, note taking app because I'm able to create templates of how I want a note to appear before actually starting to take a note. Or I only have to, to create the template once and then I can use it over and over and over again. All right. So that's drafts and it's pretty freaking awesome. I, if I must say so myself. So now I'm going to clear filters and I'm going to clear this. And that's draft. And there's tons and tons more actions that you can do with it. Um, I've showed you how to create a draft and how to create a template. And there are tons and tons of actions that can be uh, downloaded from where we will go to let's try Safari. I don't want to open Chrome right now because it has a bunch of my work um, details and I don't want to show that on my video. It would make the editing much more difficult. So let's go to um, getdrafts.com. Here we go. Let's uh, make this full. And well, bam, here you go. Let's see. Resources. Here, and you go to the directory. And let's. Check out the newest actions. Actions are those um, actions that are created so that you can automatically either create a template or send send text anywhere that you want that is uh, ready to receive it. So I can send a, for example, one of the uh, actions that I have, I can write text here and then I can send it in a tweet and it would automatically go. Um, let's try a, a tweet. Testing, oh no, let's say demonstrating sending a tweet via drafts. And then we can um, hit this button and this this tweet will be sent to my Twitter where I where I set it up with. And this draft will automatically be sent to the track once it's successful. So there it goes. Now you're back at the journal entry. But let's take a look at um, 
tweet bot, maybe it will have my tweet. Let's see, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Demonstrating sending a tweet via drafts. There it is. It's worked. And there you have it. That's why drafts is probably one of my favorite. It is my favorite note-taking app on the Mac and iOS. All right, guys, please like, subscribe, and share this video and comment if you enjoyed what you see. Um, I will have the link to the man who, so the website of the man who gave me the inspiration to create a journal entry like this using drafts. All right, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.